and Mo. Today I want to do the second tome around book tag. This tag was created by The Hungry Bookworm and it is a tag all about secondhand books. So I am very excited for it. Question number one is, do you buy secondhand books? And the answer to that is yes, I do buy secondhand books. I exclusively buy secondhand books. In fact, I don't buy any new books at all. And more often than not, I get my secondhand books for free. I'm a huge proponent of the little free libraries. I also like stoop sales and book sales and free book giveaways. So I go to a lot of those and I love to get secondhand books and I love to get them either cheap or for free, but I also love to support secondhand book stores and I also love to support people selling their books that they don't want anymore. And I also love to support library sales. Question number two is what is your latest purchase? My latest actual purchase book that I bought most recently is Fresh Complaint by Jeffrey Eugenides. So Jeffrey Eugenides is the author of Middlesex and The Virgin Suicides, among other books. I've read The Virgin Suicides and I really, really love that book. I also love the movie. And I got about halfway through Middlesex a few years ago on audio, but unfortunately I had to stop reading it because I was no longer able to listen to the audio. Hopefully I will get back to that one day. Although so I have to say that the subject matter of that book was not my favorite. It wasn't the most compelling to me, but I'm excited to give this book of short stories a try. I got this book from the Goodwill and it was $2.49. The latest book that I have acquired is Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata. So uh, this is a booktube darling. A lot of people talk about it and I'm really interested to read it. I had no idea that it was so short and so small. It's such a cute little hardcover. I got this book in a free little library and it has some Japanese writing in the front and I'm really excited to pick this one up. Question number three is what condition do you find used books acceptable? And I find used books acceptable in all conditions. I love my used books to be a little ratty. I love them to have writing in them from the previous owners. I like them to be underlined. I like them to be dog-eared. I like them to have notations. I like them to be old and vintage style. I don't mind if the cover is broken. I don't mind if the cover is coming off. I like used books books to be well loved. Question number four is after you've read a book, do you keep it or do you re-donate it? Last year in 2020, when I really got back into reading, I started keeping all the books that I read through that year, whether I liked them or not, on my red shelf so that I could kind of see what I read all year and do a recap at the end of the year and see if I wanted to keep them or donate them. So I plan to do that again in 2021. So I have a red shelf in the other room and I put all the books that I've read through the year on there. And then at the end of the year, I'll go through them and I'll decide if they can go on my real red shelves, which you've seen before, they're over here, or if they need to get re-donated. I end up keeping a lot of books that I like. I end up keeping books because I really, really love them and I might want to reread them, or I end up keeping books that are beautiful. I end up keeping books that I felt very closely with to remind me of that and to keep around for nostalgia, even if I might never reread them. And I'm also running out of room on those shelves. So I do also donate books. If it's a book that I didn't enjoy, or if it's a book that I don't love the copy of, um, maybe I picked it up in a different copy that I prefer, or maybe it's just not uh, an ideal copy for me. I didn't enjoy the experience of holding and reading it. And I also donate books that I probably will never read again. Maybe I liked it the first time around, but like not enough to keep. So there's definitely a mix. Yes, I keep books that I acquired and I redonate books that I acquired. Question number five is, do you have a favorite place to go to buy used books? So again, my favorite place to get used books is to acquire them in 
free little libraries or stoop sales or library sales, places that you may be purchasing but you may be getting your books for free. I get books from places like Goodwill and other thrift stores. I get books from library sales. I get books from stoop sales and yard sales. My all-time favorite used bookstores I think are The Book Garden which is in New Jersey. It is a beautifully huge and labyrinthine used bookstore. The prices are really good and it's just kind of a magical place. It's like a place out of time. It was originally a bookstore and florist and the floral aspect of it has kind of gone by the wayside. If you're ever near New Egypt, New Jersey, I definitely suggest checking it out. I'll leave a link below to a blog post about it that I did a few years ago. Another one of my all-time favorite secondhand bookshops is the unnamed bookshop in I think it's called Unnamed. It's in Prospect Heights, Brooklyn. They sell new books and used books, but it's just a great shop and it's fun. You never know what you're gonna find there. They have kind of a nice selection of various different books and then they have like just like stacks of books on the floor that you can go through and look through. I recently went to my most local used bookstore, which is the Asbury Park Book Cooperative, and they have a really great curated selection of used books. They're more expensive than the other used bookstores that I've mentioned, but they're worth it if you're looking for something a little bit harder to find. The next question is, do you prefer hardback or paperback? I think for used books, honestly, I prefer paperback because I love different vintage paperback editions of books and I love that feeling of a book that like maybe was stuffed in somebody's pocket or maybe was well loved and the cover is kind of crunchy and ripping. People feel less attached to paperbacks in some way, so they're more willing to write in them. But I love hardcovers too. I'm totally down with hardcovers as well. Question number seven is, have you found any real gems? And I would say almost all of them are real gems. I have recently found a lot of booktube darlings. I found Year of the Witching and a few other favorites on booktube in hardcover, convenience store woman, a bunch of other things that are really good quality new and new release books. So those are gems in a way and I think people who maybe are not used to buying secondhand books would think that those were the real gems and the favorites and would be surprised at how recent, current, and well kept you can buy used or find used books. But to me the gems are always going to be, you know, my favorite vintage covers, the series of P.D. James books in the particular uh, cover way that I like. They're going to be books that are well-worn and well-loved. So yes, I've definitely recently found some gems, maybe too many to name. Question number eight is optional, but it is to find a book to donate. So I recently have acquired a lot of used books. I'm not trying to, and honestly, I would love to slow down a little because I my TBR shelf is totally full. I don't know when I'll be able to get to all these books, but I've been finding so many good books that I can't pass them up. Books that I've heard about on booktube, books that I've been meaning to read, good editions of books that I've always wanted to read or good editions of books that I've already read that I want to keep in my collection. Uh, so honestly, I wish there was more books that I had to donate. I recently donated all the rest of my donation books into Little Free Libraries a few weeks ago. I think I only have one. I always keep like a box in my car of like donated books. I have a huge stock of basement box books that I could go down and probably find a book, but I'm not willing to go through them. I'm just trying to work through the books that I want to read.
And the last question or the last prompt is to tag some people. So I'm not going to tag specific people, but I would say please tag yourself in the comments below if you love used books. If you would like to do the second tome around, definitely let us know in the comments below and make sure that you put your version of it there. Also, if you love secondhand books and you love little free libraries, I highly encourage you to check out my little library tag. I will list that down below. It kind of goes hand in hand with this tag. So thanks again to The Hungry Bookworm for creating this tag and thanks to um, everyone I've seen do this tag to be the inspiration for it and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye!